We remain steadfast in our commitment in delivering local news that matters, stories that inspire, enriching the lives of Filipinos in the Philippines and across the globe. This is your GMA Regional TV. Buong puso para sa Pilipino. at home with GMA Regional TV. Thank God it's Friday. I know you love this day just as much as I do because we're looking forward to the weekend. Pero ayaw sa mo kalimot mga kapuso, nga ana ami. Dala ang storya alang ninyo karong biyernes. Let's have a great time this Friday morning din lang sa inyo ang paboritong programa ang at home with GMA Regional TV. Good morning, Jandy! Good morning, Sai! Mayong buntag, mga kapuso! Biyernes na yun! October 28, 2022. Sa Bistok, may nabi ni Efren Mama ang usa ka iladong artist tungod sa iyahang mga handicrafts at o siyang ilailahon unya. Mga kapuso, at o sa makauban ng Ambassador of India to the Philippines unya sa spotlight. Among gihisgutan ang mga programa sa India nga to sa Pilipinas o ang ongoing bilateral trade relationship sa dua kanasod. Alright, kay balubo mo mo sundog o klase-klaseng tingog sa ubang tao mga kapuso. Ang atong guest sa Jensan, doon ay abilidad nga masundo ang tingog sa dagang personalidad. Ato siyang pasampulon unya sa spotlight, kauban si Abby Caballero. Maayong buntag mga kapuso! Atong makauban karon ang usa sa mga garbo sa General Santos City. Usa siya ka-influencer, vlogger, o certified voice artist. Doon nga natong ilailahon mga kapuso si Harlem Jude Ferolino o mas na ilha, Papa Lem! Maayong buntag, Papa Lem! Maayong buntag at home with GMA Regional TV. O sa mga tanang viewers, no, permit ko katanawaan ni every morning. Malayit na lang ko. Awa. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Pero ayaw po pa late, <laughs> listen na. Papa Lem, nag-trending online ang imuhang mga videos kung asa imong ginasundog ang pipila sa mga iladong personalidad. Ang pangutana nga, uh, paunsa ka nagsugod aning voice acting? Okay, uh, like everyone, nagsugod ko bata pa ko kay Kapaminaw na Jiko Gradjo TV, alam mo na, batang 90s, no? So may mga uh, materials sa cassette tape nung ginapaminawan na ako. So na-amaze ko na makaya di ay sa isa katao nga mag-gaya o narrate, mag-narrator, mag-tarot o mag-witch. Murag, the lady of the house will write down, the lady of the house will write down. Shut up, dad! Hmm, please, feel that home. So, murag anak, I mean, oh, di ay. And then, pag college or high school, gagaya na kong mga boses, like, the following program contains themes and scenes not suitable for very young audiences. So, kato. And then, pag college, uh, I met the voice master, Pocholo Gonzalez. Kaya nag-search bitaw ko og mga websites. So, I stumbled upon uh, creativevoices.com. So, dito na ako mm -hmm. na nag-audition. And then, finally, nag-meet ni sa MSU Jensen, from a success convention. So, I nag-venture sa Sakoa under Voice of the Youth Network. And then eventually, din hi sa Kuan, sa mo ang current program karon. Mm -hmm. Na kay mga nahibalaan po nga tingog sa mga aswang. Oh. <laughs> Since, <laughs> Since Halloween. <laughs> Since Halloween. Siyempre, from Disney, dito para mag-transition sa from mm -hmm. Disney, siguro mga villains nila. Mm -hmm. Genie, grant me my first wish. <laughs> so, ato. Oh, Ito lang gamay. Pero kung mga tiyanak-tiyanak, uh, medyo glotal na siya. Ah, kumusta ka na? Buhay ka pa ba? Murag si Kuan. Hindi ba lisod? <laughs> Sakit siya actually, mm -hmm. pero siyempre, kinahanglan mo mag-ingat. Mag mm -hmm. um, sa mga nuno, for example, Kumusta ka na, Abby? Mukhang naliligaw ka ata sa kagubatan <laughs> ngayon. 
<laughs> Amazing <laughs> lagi. Pero gusto na ako magtuon po. Wow. Okay, oh, yeah. Anyway, madali lang man siya. Ang ginabuhat mo sa program is magsugod sa sweep method, pataas, mm -hmm. pababa ang tingog para magku makuha na to ang pitch as of the basic level, uh, element of voice. Uh, ready na ka? So, uh, na ha? So, so kung asa kong ting, uh, gayaan niyo mong kamot. Uh, So makita niyo mo kung asa kataas o asa kagbaba. So kung okay. bata, high pitch mong... Ah, kumusta po kayo? Ikaw god. Ah, kumusta po kayo? Ayan. <laughs> Murag lang gum. <laughs> o kung, di ni sa bata. Di ni sa bata. Kung dungaga na to pitch character, dungaga ka garagal, uh. Kumusta na kayo? Kumusta na kayo? Ayan. <laughs> Murag witch, no? Sa, o, o sa matanda, kaya man di ay. Sa matanda, uh, natin ginatawag ng mouth work. Kung hmm. sa ikwa, sa matanda, walang ngipon, So what up the, hey my um, my yung buntag kaninyong tanan ba hey my yung para glad din sa paulit ba yung buntag kaninyong tanan wait lang dapat close dapat close oh. ka ah dito ko malo ana so so ato lang sa no uh, may mga ano ta may mga elements nga gina change change lang mm -hmm. and then ma-achieve natong iba't ibang nga bosses mm -hmm. dali lang siya kung una-unaon pero i-practice practice practice nimo siya. All right. Papalem alang na sab sa kasayuran sa atong mga kapuso viewer. Unsa bay mga opportunities nga nagahulat sa mga voice actor? Ay dagan ka ayo. So we can voice uh, digital ads, commercials and TV. Pagka graduate nyo sa certified voice artist program, uh, dagan actually no, uh, kinahanglan lang mag-audition, kinahanglan lang mag uh, porsige kay dili man gyud ed, always dawaton ka. So na rejections. Mm -hmm. So as long as ginahimo ni mo siya as a pure passion, ug dili money ang imuhang motivation, magdugay ka sa serve, uh, sa sa industry. Kay as a, as an art, this is a, uh, a way for self-expression and for you to invite or encourage other people to do them to do their or to do their passions as well. Mm -hmm. So dagan uh, voice over sa AVP, mm -hmm. sa TV, for example, kana sa Eat Bulaga, di ba? Eto na ang love ng lahat. Ang masaya at magulong Bulaga 2022. So Anna, oh so pwede ka magkuha sa GMA, mm -hmm. no? Diri sa one GMA Regional TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dagan ka ayong salamat papalem sa time nga imong gi-share sa atong kapuso viewers og sa pag-share sab sa imong talento. Ayan, tutok lang for more inspiring stories mga kapuso din hilang sa At, at home, home with GMA Regional TV. Kini ang At Home with GMA Regional TV. So we have a very special guest joining us. We are so glad because he gave us a chance to sit down and talk despite his busy schedule. Our guest for today came all the way from the beautiful nation of India. Let's all welcome His Excellency Shambhu S. Kumaran, the Ambassador of India to the Philippines. Ambassador Kumaran, good morning and welcome to At Home with GMA Regional TV and to the City of Golden Friendship, Cagayan de Oro. How are you doing today? Thank you very much. It's wonderful to be in the Golden City. We are honored to have you here today, sir. You are here in Cagayan de Oro City for the Mindanao Food Congress in Oro Best Expo. So, firstly, how was your visit have been? Well, this is an important event that we are very much looking forward to in the context of the broader India-Philippines relationship. As you know, the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, and the President of the Philippines, Mr. Ferdinand Marcos, had a telephone conversation. And in that conversation, they identified agriculture as an area of uh, great interest to both our countries. So we are beginning to implement that decision of our leaders. And uh, we recognize that for the Philippines government, agriculture is a big priority. And India is doing quite well in agriculture. As you know, uh, we have been developing our agriculture sector quite strongly, and we'd like to share our experiences. So this is why this is a very important event for us. But more importantly, I think that there's a larger process of engagement between our business, uh, you know, our companies and our businesses. And so this is an opportunity for businesses in Mindanao and Kagan de Oro to get to know some of the Indian companies. Sir, I believe uh, there will be an India cultural night and uh, dinner at the atrium. What can Filipinos uh, expect, particularly our Mindanaoan participants, 
from the cultural life. Well, we're bringing uh, an Indian folk uh, dance. It's a very energetic dance form called the Bhangra. And I'm sure that uh, the Mindanaoans would be happy to dance uh, to the tune of the beats there. Sir, one of the reasons that you are here is to strengthen the relationship between our two countries, India and the Philippines. So far, how, uh, from your point of view, how was the uh, ongoing bilateral trade relationship between our countries? I think India and the Philippines are in a phase of rapid, uh, you know, shall we say, elevate, rapidly elevating our relationship. We have a very strong political dialogue. I mentioned the conversation between the Prime Minister and the President. Uh, we have a very strong people-to-people -people relationship. Uh, India and uh, Philippines have a very old historical partnership. And Mindanao has been actually uh, one of the areas where these ideas and spirituality and culture of India mixed with that of the Philippines. But most importantly, I do sense that the economic and the commercial relationship is at the center of our partnership. And that's why we believe that uh, this business event, uh, which of course focuses on agriculture, but agriculture is a very large area, and brings in elements of digital technology, brings in elements of industry, uh, food processing, agricultural implements, uh, and it also brings in elements of biotechnology, things like seeds. So it's a very vast area. Sir, as you've already mentioned, the Mindanao Food Congress and the Oro Best Expo focuses on the agricultural side. So how will India uh, help our local farmers in the local scene here in Mindanao? Well, what we want to showcase is uh, what's been happening in India. And we believe that the Filipino companies and the Filipino uh, entities would be best placed to decide what would work in the Philippines context. But what we've seen in India is a large set of initiatives covering policy, agricultural mechanization, financing support, marketing support, but more importantly also uh, using technology, agri-tech interventions to support the farmers. All of these are very, very useful in, in our view to this ongoing effort led by uh, the President of the Philippines to revive Philippines agriculture and to increase the productivity of your farmers. And we want to play a supporting role. We don't want to play a prescriptive role. We want to give you our experience. We want to present our companies who can support this effort. Here at the venue, we're also showcasing the various products that are proudly Mindanaoan and proudly Filipino. Uh, are there any products that caught your eye and would want to bring back home to your country? Well, a, a range of products from the Philippines are very, very interesting products, uh, whether it's food products, a lot of your cultural products, these are very, very promising. And uh, I would really want to spend a little more time to, to understand what are the uh, areas which are of priority here. All right, Dagang Salamat. Thank you very much, Your Excellency Shambhu S. Kumaran, the Ambassador of India to the Philippines, for generously giving your time here at our program. Namaste and uh, more power to you. Thank you for having me. Kiniyang at home with GMA Regional TV. Buenos dias, mga kapuso. Trending karon online ang pinasahi nga flower bouquet tungod ang gigamit sa paggama ni ini yarn. Karon buntaga mga kapuso, atong makauban ang flower yarn maker nga gikan sa Davao City. Let's all welcome Nika Bernal. Hello Nika, welcome sa At Home with GMA Regional TV. Kamusta ka, Nika? Okay lang po so far. Nika, paon sa kaba nagsugod aning paghimo ni ining trending karon nga flower yarn. Pwede ba ni mo ma-share sa mua? So first, dili ko dili flower crochet akong gihimo. So gusto lang ko maghimo-himo for myself. So nagawatch ko YouTube para makatoon. Ang first project nako is bucket hat. Nagpost sad ko aning flowers katurang February kay Valentine's Day. Tapos dili pa kaayo attractive akong mga flowers kay kato na time ang akong yarn ginagamit kay dili the same as the yarn nga ginagamit nako karon. So karon nagpost og usab kay 
kabalo man ko sa ako mga kaedaran nga nagadebu sila og kabalo ko na perfect gift ni for the bukay ang bulak dili malata and uh, unsa ba ang imong gibati nga tungod ni ining imong flower yarn nga business nagtrending ka online so syempre una-una jud na shock jud ko kay wala na ko gi-expect nga maabot og pila ka tao ang ma-reach dili lang siya sa Davao kundi sa nationwide jud tapos una pa jud dili ako ang nakakita na nidaghan ang shares og ang likes ako mga pinsan man gud ang una og ako mga friends niya ila ha kung gipagchatan tapos tingala na lang kog ko pag mata nako daghan na kaayo kog message request nga inquire sa orders kanang mga inganay nga na so lipay jud ko kay dako siyang tabang nako Nako nika dakog tabang jud ang imong skills extra rocket jud ni nimo lastly on sabay mahatag nimo nga tambag sa tanang mga teenager like you nga madiskarte na sa kinabuhi So ako ara jud mahatag na tambag is that dapat dili ra jud mo give up kay kabalo man pug ko nga kanang gikan pug ko sa first na kanang pangarap lang tapos natingala ko nga nagkalit-kalit lang over a night tapos dili man jud need na bright ka in order for you to succeed in life tapos dapat kanang confident man gud ka sa imuhang ginahimo og kanang driven ka to um, explore and to learn something new tapos mag-focus jud ka sa imuhang life goals so comparing yourself to other people's success won't make you successful ang doubt sa ubang tao kay dapat dili jud pansinon og kanang dapat ano jud ka eager jud ka na ma-prove katong mga tao nga ga-doubt sa imuha og kanang imuhang sarili kay i-make better jud nimo dili para sa ila kundi para sa imuha maong if gusto jud niyo mag-business dapat Stand taller than anyone else or dapat let yourself shine, Jod. I'm sure, Nika, daghan Jod na inspired sa imong gisher na mo karon. And daghan kayong salamat, Nika, sa panahon nga gihatag ni mo sa At Home with GMA Regional TV. God bless sa imuha and stay safe always. Thank you so much. God bless, Sad. Mga kapuso sa Bistok at itong nakauban si Nika Bernal, mapasalamatun siya kay Daghan ang misalig kaniya. Samtang Jandi at itong nakahinabi si Ambassador of India to the Philippines, His Excellency Shambu S. Kumaran, kung asa iyang ipasigarbo ang mga butang nga pwedeng mahatag sa nasun India nga sa Pilipinas. Panghinaot po niya nga mas mulambo pa ang bilateral trade relationship sa duha ka nasun. Ug sa spotlight nalingaw ta sa storya ug pasample sa sikat nga voice over artist sa General Santos City nga si Harlem Perolino. Saysay niya nga nalipay siya tungod na himo siyang garbo sa Mindanao ug padayon siya nga muhatag og kalingawan sa tanan. Maka puso, truly inspiring and motivating gyud ang mga storya nato this morning. Sama na lamang aning panultihon gikan kang Aquafina. We need to take risk. We need to go broke. We need to prove them wrong simply by not giving up. Mga kapuso, makita pagbalik ang atong episode pinaagi sa pagbisita sa www.gmaregionaltv.com o ayaw kalimot na mag-subscribe sa official YouTube channel sa GMA Regional TV. See you on Monday, mga kapuso. Padayon sa paglambo o taliwala sa kalisod, laban lang. Ako si John D. Esteban. Kinisab si Cyril Chavez. Buong puso para sa Pilipino. Pilipino.